So I'm here to review Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2, and you know, reviewing Kill Bill, it almost requires you to have a sword at least in the vicinity of the review, and I thought I'd bring mine out. I got a couple of these. They're all wood, I know, it's pretty lame, but just gotta do it for Kill Bill. Kill Bill Volume 1 and 2. Supposedly there'll be a third one coming out in a year or so, so if that happens, we'll review that one then. I believe this was supposed to be one movie, but then when Tarantino was done, it was like four hours, so we just split it into two parts or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's how it went down. It's the story of the bride, played by Uma Thurman, who... She was part of like a ninja assassins group, and they betrayed her and did something to her that's pretty bad, and she's gonna get vengeance and kill all of them, including the leader, Bill. And that's the movie. And pretty much all you get is Uma Thurman running around, having insanely choreographed, amazing fight scenes with all these people. I mean, good God, this movie is ultra-violent, and I love it. The ultra-violence in this movie is crazy, I mean, I'll get into it, but I mean, the fight scenes are so crazy, and they're so well choreographed and filmed. Um, writing this, I wonder how you would write it, because there's, it's like almost non-stop action, I mean, there is a lot of, there's a couple talking scenes, but the movies are, for the most part, just a lot of really cool fighting. Uh, Kill Bill Volume 1 stars Uma Thurman, David Carradine, Michael Madsen, Lucy Liu, Vivica Fogg, and Daryl Hannah. And, um, the first one's basically, we kind of get a little bit of the backstory on Uma Thurman's character, like kind of how she was betrayed and her first couple targets, including Vivica Fox, who was really funny. Her uh, scene with Uma Thurman was hilarious. And then you got the Lucy Liu one. And Lucy Liu is just always awesome. I mean, she's, she's just great. And um, before their little showdown, um, you get Uma Thurman going into this Japanese bar or something like that and killing about 90 people maybe less. She takes on the crazy 88s and now they say in the movie um, there's not actually 88 of them but there was pretty close to it. I mean the first movie has a body count of 95 people. That's a lot of... I know my sword kung fu is terrible but whatever. But anyway, it's just Uma Thurman going into the bar slicing people's limbs off left and right and it's awesome! I mean, you get the first fight with Vivica Fox, which is very well choreographed, and then you get kind of some story, but once she goes after Lucy Liu, you get like this uh, hilarious, you get an anime, it, the movie turns into an anime when it's Lucy Liu character's backstory, and it's like over the top anime, just blood everywhere, like ridiculous, and that was pretty funny. And then you get her going at the bar, and it's just literally her taking on like 20 people at a time, just limb slicing everywhere. And it's so over the top and gory. I mean, if you don't like blood, um, stay away because this movie's gonna make you faint like 60 times in a row. There's a lot of blood, a lot of violence, but it's so good because it's so well choreographed. And there's a lot of funny humor in it too. And it just feels like you take a lot of old kung fu movies and just cram them together, give that Tarantino twist on it, and then you get Kill Bill Volume 1. And then you get Volume 2, which we get a lot more of Daryl Hannah and Michael Madsen's characters, and uh, Bill also, you get more Bill. Part 2 is basically um, the bride after dealing with two of her targets, uh, Lucy Liu and Vivica Fox, she moves on to Michael Madsen, Daryl Hannah, and Bill. And uh, not as much action, like I mean you don't get the crazy sword fight through the Japanese bar, but you get like some cool scenes, I mean you get more backstory about the bride with Bill and all that, you get this showdown with Bud, Michael Madsen's character, where um, there's uh, someone gets buried alive, a very creepy, intense scene. I mean, if you know me, you know I really like the movie Buried. I got the poster right over there. Hold on, I'll... You know that? That movie's a classic. And so basically you get Tarantino doing his version of like Buried, where someone's buried alive. It's very creepy. And then you get some of Uma Thurman's background of how she became like a kung fu master and stuff and her uh, kung fu 
teacher was awesome. He's pretty hilarious. You get showdown with Daryl Hannah in the trailer. And then you get the, the f final confrontation with Bill. I mean, a lot of memorable stuff. It's very cool. Uh, but it doesn't quite have the feel of the first one. The second one was a little bit more s story thrown in and a lot of more backstory. It doesn't have the crazy sword fights. But it's okay that Kill Bill Volume 2 didn't have like as much <laughs> violence because Volume 1 had enough for both movies. And it's just really good. I mean, you get Uma Thurman as the bride who is awesome. A badass female. Like, aside from Sigourney Weaver and Alien and Aliens, I can't think of another female actress that like it's such an ass kicker I mean you got Lucy Liu who's also in this movie who's really good but uh Luma Thurman pretty much just steals the show as this badass total badass and the only other one I could think of that's like a really good female badass is right here you know Chloe Grace Moretz there Kill Bill Volume 3 if Tarantino does make it I don't know right somewhere where Chloe Grace Moretz gets to play like a young assassin that goes after the bride or something I'll say it now, that's a good idea, because Hit Girl vs. The Bride would be a kick-ass scene. David Carradine as Bill, he's very cool. Originally, the character was supposed to be more like a James Bond type person, because Tarantino wanted Warren Beatty, I believe. But I think uh, David Carradine's version of Bill was pretty cool. Kind of a little creepy guy, but still very, very human character. You kind of get him and The Bride's connection and all they got some very good moments together. You got Michael Madsen as Bud, pretty funny. And then you got uh, Daryl Hannah as L Driver, she was pretty good. You, uh, very treacherous, and she was very fun. Uh, and she also, she had a moment with Uma Thurman's teacher in the movie, which was pretty funny. You got Lucy Liu, who was awesome. You got Vivica Fox, very funny. And then you got a lot of the other people, like a lot of the Asian actors, as like uh, Uma Thurman's teacher was awesome. You got Hattori Hanzo, he was really good. You got his little like bartender guy, he was very funny. The Crazy 88s, all of them were very good. And I forget the actors and the character, but it was the one, it was uh, like Lucy Liu's bodyguard, and she had the like mallet or whatever, the spiked ball on the chain. She was pretty funny too. Uh, just a really good cast of best kung fu movie ever probably I mean I haven't seen Battle Royale and I just recently saw uh, Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon which um, a little side note that movie's hilarious like it's so bad in a good way I mean uh, all respect to Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee is pretty awesome the kung fu is pretty hilarious in the story I mean overdub voiceover and all yeah kind of uh, so bad it's good but it's also got its really good moments and Kill Bill kind of has a few of those moments very good movie, good soundtrack, pretty well written, well shot and choreographed. Uh, definitely go check out Kill Bill if you haven't seen it. Check it out on like Blu-ray or something to see all that 10,000 gallons of blood in high definition. Go ahead, do that. So thinking about it, I'd probably give Kill Bill an A-. minus. A really good movie, uh, one of Tarantino's funniest ones because all the over-the-top violence just makes it hilarious. It's probably the most well shot almost because you have to do such choreography for the movie that it's just such an achievement to see all this great action scenes put in a movie and um, very good characters and all definitely check it out and if you like this review like it subscribe to my channel if you want and uh, comment down below and tell me who's your favorite character in the movie of all the kung fu people who's your favorite and let's try and make it fair let's leave out the bride because she's like the most badass, let's leave her out, and then who's your favorite? I think mine would be Lucy Liu's character, Oh Ren Ishii. I think she's very cool. Her little, she gets a scene with these mob bosses and stuff, it's very funny. Uh, so yeah, tell me who your favorite uh, kung fu character besides the bride was. Comment below and tell me about it. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later when I review Grindhouse. I will review Death Proof, and I'll give kind of a mini review on Planet Terror. So see you guys then. And also, soon I'll be doing um, top 10 Christmas films to check out and then maybe talk about some other Christmas movies. I was going to try and make a whole Christmas special, but I didn't really have anything else to talk about Christmas-wise. So yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.